It was hard to believe, not just the years that had passed, but how much PayPal's alumni had accomplished in them. If you have used the Internet at all in the last 20 years, you've touched a product, service, or website connected to the creators of PayPal. The founders of several of our era's defining firms, the creators of YouTube, Yelp, Tesla, SpaceX, LinkedIn, and Palantir, among others, were early PayPal employees. Others occupy top posts at Google, Facebook, and Silicon Valley's leading venture capital firms. Both in the foreground and behind the scenes, PayPal's alumni have built, funded, or counseled nearly every Silicon Valley company of consequence for the last two decades. As a group, they constitute one of the most powerful and successful networks ever created. Power and influence captured in the controversial phrase, the PayPal Mafia. Several billionaires and many multimillionaires have emerged from PayPal's ranks. The group's combined net worth is higher than the GDP of New Zealand. But to look only at their wealth and impact on technology is to miss the group's wider imprint. PayPal's alumni have built world-changing micro-lending nonprofits, produced award-winning films, written best-selling books, and advised politicians at every level, from the State House to the White House. And they're far from done. Today, PayPal alumni have taken as a mission everything from cataloging the world's genealogical records to restoring three billion acres of forest ecosystems to scaling love, bringing their PayPal experience to bear in each case. They've also been at the center of the biggest social, cultural, and political controversies of our age, including bitter fights over free speech, financial regulation, privacy and technology, income inequality, the efficacy of cryptocurrency, and discrimination in Silicon Valley. For its admirers, PayPal's founders are a force to be emulated. For its critics, the group represents everything wrong with big tech, putting historically unprecedented power into the hands of a small clutch of techno-utopian libertarians. Indeed, it is hard to find a lukewarm opinion about PayPal's founders. They are either heroes or heathens, depending on who offers the judgment. And yet, despite all that, the PayPal days themselves are usually glossed over. If the early years come up at all, they are typically granted a polite paragraph crediting PayPal for making the later, splashier achievements possible. The group's subsequent successes are so legendary, and their controversies so conspicuous, that they steal the oxygen from the origin story. Space travel, after all, makes for better copy than payment services. But this seemed odd to me. It was as if these people had grown up in the same tiny town and no one had bothered to ask what was in the water. It also seemed a shame. To skip PayPal's creation is to neglect the most interesting stuff about its founders. It is to miss the defining experience of their early professional lives, one that defined so much of what came later. As I began poking around, asking questions about PayPal's beginnings, it became clear just how much of the story had been overlooked, and how many of its central figures were absent from the retellings. More than one person I spoke to had never previously been asked about their PayPal tenure at length, and their stories were as rich and revealing as those of the household names. Indeed, it's in the recollections of scores of engineers, UX designers, network architects, product specialists, fraud fighters, and support personnel, that the story of PayPal comes to life. As one former employee put it, you have folks like Peter Thiel, Max Levchin, and Reid Hoffman,